Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Concealer Fest and today I've got from Physicians Formula, I finally found it in stock, the Butter Glow Concealer. Retails for $9.99 for, oh I just looked at it, 0.19 fluid ounces or 5.6 milliliters of product. They say, oh it comes in six different shades and I'm very confused because my shade says that it is shade light to medium, which is really, really light for a light to medium shade, I think. Maybe, maybe the packaging just makes it look right and it's light and it's gonna be the wrong shade, but on the Target websites, the shades don't match this. So like there's a shade called light, there's no shade called light medium. I went on the Physicians Formula website to confirm that there are only six shades and there are only six shades but the names on the Physicians Formula website versus the packaging versus the Target website do not match. So, good luck. <laughs> I've got the one where the box says light to medium and the packaging of the product says light to medium. They say, brighten, highlight, smooth, or conceal imperfections with the help of this long-wearing, multi-use, radiance-boosting concealer. Smooth and creamy texture delivers a radiant, soft, focus finish, giving skin a refreshed glow unlike any other. Yeah, we'll see about that. This billable formula seamlessly delivers flawless coverage while a dual-ended applicator allows you to apply with a doe foot and blend with the sponge. The cats are playing. It's Ziva. It's Ziva. She's playing with my plastic bag from CVS and making a bunch of noise. You need to be quiet. No, nope, no. Nope. Hold, please. Back to the description. They got like paragraphs. They got the whole history of Physician's formula down here, like holy cow. Don't worry, not reading it all to you, just product information here. Infused with illuminating minerals to impart a subtle radiance and a powerful blend of their, it's their three butter blend that they've got in all of their butter products, packed with essential fatty acids and pro vitamins that soften, condition, and moisturize the skin, leaving it silky soft. I'm a little intrigued about this, like what? Doe foot, dual end, oh, I get it. There's a sponge here, and then the doe foot inside. I see, I see, okay. Mm, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna use that. I, I just don't like sponges on top of, it's just not my favorite thing. So, let's take a look at shade, whatever this is, <laughs> swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's concealer from Physicians Formula, the Butter Glow Concealer in shade Light Medium. Second, I've got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Fair. Third up is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. And last, I've got from Makeup Revolution the Conceal and Design, Conceal and Design, Conceal and Define in shade C4. All right, we'll do damp sponge on one side. These are from Target. It is the e.l.f. complexion trio of sponges. It's a package that has three sponges of three different sizes, this being the biggest poof monster. And on the other side, I will use a brush. This is from BK Beauty, the Angie Hot and Flashy, number A506. Let's go in with this doe foot, shall we? I have been gravitating toward uh, less bright concealers because I feel like, same with foundation, I've been going like a half shade darker because lately it just seems that the lighter, like when I try to brighten with my shade choice, uh, I feel like it's just aging me a little bit. Pretty sheer coverage with the sponge application. Let's try the brush side. A lot comes off on this doe foot, so be careful in terms of how much product you are laying down. I just showed you my brush like two seconds ago. There it is. How do I lose things that are literally sitting right in front of me? Is it just me? I don't know. What is it? I would say it has something to do with aging, but I don't think it does because I've been like that my whole life. <laughs> Losing the things that are sitting right there. This is clinging a little bit to my dry skin, but it is also, I think, much better 
more higher coverage, not better, because some people don't need that much coverage. Higher coverage, I think, with the brush. If you look this side versus this side, I think the, especially my deepest, darkest secrets are in the inner corner here. And uh, that's where I need the most coverage. So let's even it out on the sponge side. Let's attempt to anyway. And I'm gonna go just a little dabble do you right there in the inner corner and try. I can't imagine this being a medium shade, really. The Target website seems to list this as light, and I think this would be light, I think. Because if I can pull it off, it cannot, it just can't be medium. It just can't. I'm fair. I'm not the fairest of the fair, but I'm pretty fair. Uh, this is really kind of clinging, clinging to my dry skin. This might not be best if you are in a flaky phase. It feels wonderful, like it feels very hydrating. I'm just gonna run my finger here and get any excess product. Make sure we're not having an excess product situation. Because sometimes just a little extra buildup is what makes it look like it's clinging. Well, that actually kind of helped a little bit. So like I said, this doe foot puts out a lot of product, so you probably need less than you think because of how much product comes off on that doe foot. All right, this is helping a little bit. I'm a little, like, I'm not a fan of how it's looking on my inner corners because it just seems to be clinging. I didn't realize I had dry skin there, but apparently I do, and it's finding all of it. So I kind of look like a, look like a snaky peeling mess, but, Let's zoom in, get a look, and see what's going on. As you can see, uh, well, it's just clinging to everything. It's clinging to any, any dry skin I have. And I've always got dry skin, regardless of the time of year. So it's really obvious at the inner corner of my eyes. And yes, I mean, I could take a wire brush to my face. I'm kidding, don't do that. I could, I could try and like scrub all of my peeling skin off me faster, but I, I try not to do that. I would rather, you know, I use exfoliating acids and I do a little bit of physical exfoliation, but I kind of leave nature to run its course because I'm helping it along, but I'm not going to force it because if I'm peely, I'm peely. It just is what it is. And I can't be the only one out there. Am I the only one out here, out there that deals with this on a regular basis. It's been my skin for all my life. I'm always dehydrated. No matter how much water I drink, that circle bottle is really cool though. If you saw that in my previous video a little while, I don't remember which one it was. I was chit chatting. and I think it was an Ipsy Get Ready With Me. And I showed you my circle water bottle, the flavored cartridges and all that. I'm loving that bottle. But uh, so my, my hydration's better than usual, but I still have some peeling skin. Mm. I kind of feel just like a, a peely snake. Now, coverage-wise, it's okay. I'd call it medium coverage. I It's not completely full coverage. I see some purple coming through, but coverage is pretty good. I have a feeling I'd really like this on days when I'm not peeling. So let's set the peeling aside for the moment. We're going to go through the day and see how everything wears, how well the coverage sticks around, does it end up settling into lines, that kind of thing. Let's check the time. I'm gonna put the rest of my face on. It is, what, it, my phone is being, wow, 12.41. Let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer. Once I got the rest of my eye makeup on, you can't tell the clinging as much in the inner corners of my eyes where I've got that dry skin going on. So that is a good thing. I do think I wiped away a little bit of the coverage as I was making sure there was no excess product going on, but that is my doing. Everything seems to be sitting nicely under my eyes. At this point, it's not settling into lines. It's not accentuating my lines and it looks hydrating. So we will see if that sticks around. I'm gonna wear this all day. I'm about to jump into four hours worth of Zoom meetings and tonight I will come back and we'll see how it wore. 11.06 p.m. What does that put us? Somewhere between 10 and 11 hours? Let's take a look at how the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer 
held up. It's super comfortable. My under eyes do not feel dry. I really like that. I don't like that it clings to dry skin, which like flaky skin, but I think if we eliminate that from the equation, this performs pretty nicely. Now let's zoom in and get a look. The coverage is a little bit lacking at this point. I would say that it's probably, you can get a solid eight to nine hours out of it. I just feel like a bit has vanished at this point, but it hasn't settled in the lines. It hasn't really caked up or moved around or accentuated lines. Like the fact that it's not accentuating my lines is that usually tells me we've got a, a good concealer on our hands because my under eyes are always dehydrated and anything that would take even the littlest bit of moisture out of my skin would make that worse and this doesn't. So, you know, I was riding the fence, but if I had to give a grade to the Butter Glow Concealer, I think I'm gonna go A minus. I know it's clinging to dry skin, but I usually don't have that going on around my eyes and it handled it pretty well once everything mel melted together anyway. So I think, I think I'm gonna go A minus. I'm gonna go benefit of the doubt on this one because it feels really nice. I think that's the thing, it feels really nice. I wish it wore a little bit longer. If I was gonna push it all the way into like solid A territory, give me a little bit more wear time, keep that coverage going a little bit longer, then, I, then I'd be good. But I think for dry and maturing skin, for the most part, the only obstacle will be flaking peeling. I like it. Wish they had more shades. Wish the shades were labeled consistently across platforms. I'm not sure what, I, I'm gonna say this must be light medium because that's what the packaging says, which I think this is really, really, really too fair to be a medium. I would actually call this fair light if it was me, like fair slash light, but those complaints aside, that is not really a complaint. That's just a, uh, how I would do things different. Do you see what's happening right now? You, can you get down please? You're, you're like right, right in the way. You're right in the way, Ziva. If you're not going to be here, you've got to go that way. You know why she's walking across? Because look who's right there. You can't see her. It's Charlie. Charlie the kitten. There you have it, A minus for the Butter Glow. What do you think? Have you tried this one? Have you been able to get your hands on it? It was out of stock in a bunch of places. I've checked several places waiting to get my hands on this one. I'm glad it's around and I was able to check it out because it's all right, it's all right. I'd love some more shades because this one's like neutral to warm and, and I would like a cooler tone shade, but I can make this work. Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to try it? Are there other concealers you would like me to check out? Let me know down below. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.